We just made this Halloween Haunted Mansion inspired front porch leaner and we did it using our X-Tool P2 pass-through. We'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. And this week, we're getting into my favorite season. Yeah, that's right. It is kickoff to fall, but not just fall. We've got to start with Halloween because that, that is our favorite. That is definitely Garrett's favorite. That is my jam right there. Halloween. <laughs> I love everything about it. The colors, the smells, the candies, the movies. What's not to love? <laughs> so this week we went to the movies ourselves and we watched Haunted Mansion. Pretty good movie. And we decided to make a porch leaner inspired by our little adventure. I was going to make a Barbie joke. Oh, make your Barbie joke. <laughs> you were supposed to say inspired by a movie. Inspired by a movie. But not Barbie. Because <laughs> you can't make a Barbie Halloween porch leaner. <laughs> I don't know. You probably could. <laughs> Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. <laughs> we needed some six foot pickets. These are the smooth ones, the dog eared. And they're pressure treated, so they're great for an outdoor porch leaner. Then we needed the smaller three foot picket. We're going to use this as our cross brace and the six foot as the backer. We needed some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're going to cut our design out of. We needed some original Gorilla Glue. This will help us stick the boards together and make sure they're stuck for good. And we also needed some Starbond Thick. This is what we'll use to glue all the MDF pieces together. We'll use some outdoor house paint to paint all of the top pieces, also keeping it weatherproof. And we got some other tools we'll be using later. Step two. Guess who's back? Back again. Pocket's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> we're gonna make all of our cuts. So we're gonna start with the six foot picket. We're gonna cut it down to 60 inches or five foot. And then we're gonna take the smaller picket and cut it into three 11 inch pieces. <laughs> now our pickets happen to already be stained. I'm sure you'll notice. That's because I happen to have these in the back stained and ready to go, perfect for this project. So it's gonna save us one little step here but we are going to stain this little guy so that you can see the process. Some staining is better than all staining. I hate staining. <laughs> Safety first, Kim. I got you, Garrett. Ooh, Garrett couldn't find his... <laughs> My blue glasses. <laughs> so I said, now I got just these. wear the pink ones. These are rose colored. Yeah, it makes everything happy. I am so happy now. Yes, that's what I always tell him. The pink makes, you, makes things happier. It's like... There's your Barbie. Oh, there's my Barbie moment. Yeah! There's your Barbie Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was so busy making my joke that I forgot to make sure that that was on zero. <laughs> That's the Barbie now. Gotta scoot it on back. <laughs> I'm really beating that camera up today. Might be a little rusty. I'm even less of a salesman now. <laughs> You're a salesman. I'm going to bring the quarter inch MDF over to the laser and we're going to cut out our design.
tip three. Woo. Time to stain and paint. We're just gonna stain our three little pieces now. And we're gonna use this Varathane's Briar Smoke, but <laughs> I just found these in the back too. So I already have three cross braces stained and ready to go. That means no staining. This is so efficient this today. This project is turning out great. It's, very <laughs> it's it a is. cruel. I'm gonna put those back it's on. It's a cruel reality, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot happier. It's like optical pros. Are you gonna do the rest of the uh, video with Maybe. your Barbie glasses I think on? So it's feeling good. I'm feeling happy. <laughs> In a Barbie world. Let me go get the kit. <laughs> All right, we have our kit. It's falling apart, falling out of its frame already. But uh, we're just gonna separate it into its colors and paint it, right? Yeah. It, what's wrong? You're looking overwhelmed. <laughs> it does. It looks like a few pieces. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta flip it. Is this like a... Flip. There you go. Let's like doing an omelet or something. Yeah. Whoa, 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 don't hold too close to the edge. Trust me, I had a wall that Losing stopped pieces. it. Alright, it shouldn't be too bad to paint. I think it's just these little no. bits. Ah, it touched itself! It's done! Oh, no it's not. Oh, look at you! Freaking Hercules. Oh, I was so clever that I built them into the hat. That's right, I forgot. Maybe I should take these off. They're making me kooky. <laughs> Darn it, I was waiting to make a Ken joke. <laughs> making you kooky. <laughs> yeah, I was feeling kooky. That was very funny. Okay, so you've cut it in a top half and bottom half. It's not all 48 nope. inches or 60 inches or something. You can cut every piece in a 24 inch bed. Noise. Noise. This should be easy, just like yeah. three colors, right? You yeah, just had to separate them a little bit. And then it's going to be the same three colors for the skull. Right. Now, if you're new to our channel and you haven't watched us paint a kit before, you'll see that we're using these four inch ro foam rollers with the handles and we're reusing our little bags, especially this time of year. It is Halloween and well, it is fall, Halloween too, but it is fall and we are reusing and uh, these rollers all day, every day, making kit after kit, sign after sign for our craft shows. I mean, sometimes that roller doesn't even get put away. It's just. Seriously though, that, that, white one? <laughs> that white one for sure, yeah. We're using these FIFO bottles, which you can find in our store at kngmaker.com. And we're going to put them on this little, put our paint on these little paper plates. Easy cleanup. We'll reuse these as well during this project. I mean, <laughs> they don't save day after day. Not like the rollers do. Why does he have glitter on him? What is happening with this little guy? I don't know. He's been places. Right? He's seen Who some knows things. where he's been. to bring it all together. We're gonna assemble it. We're gonna use a little bit of Gorilla Glue and then a one inch brad. The nail, not the guy. We're gonna attach our little 11 inch pieces to the top, middle, and the bottom. Yeah, no need to be exact here. We're just putting some braces, just top, middle, bottom. Just trying to keep it from warping even more. Yeah, one of them's a little bit warped. <laughs> We're just going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue because this does puff up.
Okay. All right, we'll All flip right. it over and apply the front side. So we're all in on this guy right here for just under $25 and these go for about $65 in our neck of the woods. Right, these pickets, since we used pickets, they were about $3.50 each so we have an, about $7 in pickets for the vertical ones and then for the cross braces another $3 bucks, so that puts us $10 in wood and then for the MDF we have about $12 in the MDF so we estimated just under $25. Paint and glue. In materials that's right and then yeah we sell them for about $65 this one was pretty easy to paint three colors makes it easy to paint and he looks really cool well I wanted him to look cool I didn't need him looking all cutesy and inviting yes that is exactly what he said he didn't want a cutesy sign so I think you achieved that I think he does look really cool and I mean, are you guys thinking, have you been thinking this whole time because it didn't hit us until afterwards? Why did we not paint the green in glow in the dark paint? What were we thinking? What did we miss? <laughs> what else did we miss? How else would you spice this guy up? Right, these Little ghosts. Glitter back there, something. Yeah, they need something. I feel like they're so cool looking, they need to pop somehow. They need so, to pop somehow. I know you've got some great ideas. Let us know what they are. And did you know that we have a Kim and Garrett After Dark podcast as well as a super secret Facebook group, free SVGs and a monthly Zoom call? You can find it all over at patreon.com. Just search for Kim and Garrett Make It. And these guys know. We love you guys. These are our patrons over here. All right, and, uh, let's see. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Because you can't see the whole thing in we the camera. We finally have something I can balance. They all get no. It's okay. going to break two Whoa. lasers at one time. Oh, I was going to break a knee. <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken.